My name is Jeremy Lieboff. I'm one of the partners at Sobel Roads Chartered Accountants. Um, and one of the things that we're doing a lot with our clients is getting them to use on cl online cloud accounting systems, one of which is Xero. Um, it's a very, very popular system, probably the market leader um, and very easy to use, but could be slightly intimidating the first time you use it. So why might you be invited to have access to Xero? It might be because someone within your finance team is putting on invoices and you need to go on and authorize them or review them. Simple as that. It might be that you're the bookkeeper within an organization and that you're going in and doing all of the different transactions and the bank reconciliation and all of that funky stuff. Equally, you might be running it for reports. You might be going in and looking at data. You might actually be getting information ready for an auditor or an accountant to review when they're preparing year end accounts or management accounts. What I'm going to show you here is simply how do you log in when you've received an invitation? So in front of you, you can see the main zero screen um, and what will have happened is somebody will have gone into the organization and will have set up the system and invited you to have access to their data. So if I just put in a quick email here um, and it'll be something like this, you'll receive an email, you've got an invitation to join the data for that particular organization and it's going to basically turn around and say to you, here you go, um, that um, you've been invited and you just need to click on this link to accept it. Then going to take you through to a screen. Now, if you've ever used Xero before, then it's going to simply say, I'd like to accept this invitation because it recognizes that email address that's already been given. It'll take you through. You need to put in your login details, put in the password that you've already used before, and then you'll be able to carry on easy peasy and then just go straight into it from there. If, however, you've never done it before and you've never set up an account before on Xero, then watch the next video and I'll show you exactly how to deal with that.